Hello and welcome everyone to Cyberpunk 2077. We are back and we are in front of Lizzie's bar where we want to talk to Judy in order to find out a little bit more about where Evelyn might be, who hopefully would be able to um, lift a few of the secrets and <laughs> lift a little bit of the mystery, answer some questions, all of that. So let's talk to the bouncer lady again. Hey, haven't I seen you here before? That's correct. Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, you. I'm looking for Evelyn. I'm uh, looking for Evelyn Parker. Know where I might find her? Used to come around. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Is Judy around? Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. Thanks. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Much appreciated. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? Hello. I have a tiger, babe. Oh, you have a tiger. So that is future Carl Baskin. Whoa, whoa! Start again. What is it you want us to do now? Beat some sense into him. That Boy, don't uh... work. I don't know. Use lead. I... I don't care, I just want my room back. Health condition Pimp poor. You out, that is? Told me I was generating losses, then just said, have a nice life and slam the damn door. I don't got nowhere to sleep tonight. Still got your body though, don't you? It's working. Don't think I do. Every any I make gets eaten up by upgrades. So I said, fuck it. Gotta dodge it. When the clouds that they were Can I do anything here? Because I... It gives me the investigation. Can I talk to this lady? Apparently not, but... Hey, Mateo! Bar's closed. Oh. Why are you here? But only girls work here. Gold Moxes only took girls under their wing. Maybe I am. Why do you care? So anyone can work here. As long as they can make a decent drink or have other talents, why? I don't know, it's amazing. I mean, just no. checking. Just curious. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Haven't seen her around. And you got no idea where she is. Not the slightest. No idea where she could be. A bartender, not her secretary. Fair enough. Want to talk to Judy? Mm -hmm. Question is, does she want to talk to you? I don't know. Find out soon enough. She in her suite? Probably. Okay. Thanks, man. So why does it show me the... Investigation symbol? That's a little bit confusing to me, but... Maybe we will find out. Okay. Yep, let's move on. Guess we can't do anything. Oh. You okay? Just hang out. Just checking in with the people here. Seems to be everything okay here. Where are you going? Let it lie. Nothing to see back here. Judy's friend. Yeah. Thank you. You recognize me. See? Judy's friend, huh? Huh? What you want? You're done with that button. Yep. That's the button grind. Stop 
telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You're so concerned about strays? Is he cute? Go take care of your guest. Zeus, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Hey, uh, hello. Hey, got a minute to talk? Later, maybe. Maybe that is connected to to the lady that we saw upstairs. Anything here? Why by me? Confession. I think we read that one. I'm sure. Relive it, Brain Dance Quarterly. I don't think we read that book. Guest editorial. Brain Dance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real lived ex experience and technological experiential purity. The more heavily processed the material, the more abstracted the pathways. The clearer the Brain Dance recording, the fundamental Elements of design have guided editors since the first wave of brain-to-brain -brain experience sharing technology took hold. In their pursuit of balance, however, editors have clearly shown a bias for purity over naturalism over the years, even going so far to use it as a point of pride in the quality of their production. But in the industry's latest push for greater purity, has the purpose of the technology already been forgotten? We will Will we not find ourselves processing and filtering a brain dance recording to the point that the emotional experience no longer extends beyond what we receive from film, television, and video games? After reliving some of the latest titles on my feeder unit, this once academic question now feels all too inevitable with the industry's current trajectory. For a moment, let's consider why some reports suggest more and more users are searching for unlicensed titles on the black market. So-called black brain dances, extreme brain dances, or XBDs. Are we sure it's the illicit content they are after? Or maybe the real draw in the residual grit we editors try so hard to remove? Distracting thoughts, ir irrelevant memories, loose associative threats, emotions stretching beyond the desired spectrum. What if this noise is not so superfluous as we believe it to be? What if these peripheral experiences hold the potential to elevate a good brain dance to an exquisite one? We do ourselves a disservice by not exploring these questions before our blind crusade for brain dance purity leads this industry straight into the bin of obsolete flash in the pan technology. JA, relive it. So that's interesting. We heard um, where we had our little brain dance um, experience that. Apparently on the market, I uh, uh, think Judy mentioned that brain dances with actual quote-unquote flatliners are particularly... Uh, um, you just don't give up, do you? Yeah, I don't. Got nothing more to say to each other. What was that, that all clear. about? What was that all about? Everyone in this city lives in their own goddamn bubble. And either you fly high or sink into quicksand. That your boss? Susie seems to know what she wants. She your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? You're just checking. I'm still looking for Evelyn, Listen, though. Have you seen Evelyn? You need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? No. That's, that's not it. Um... Uh, What's up with to, you? Sounds to me like you two talk. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Whoa. Hey, hey. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Well, just tell me where you she is. You do this for fun, talking around in circles. I'm trying to make this simple. 
Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. My feelings are hurt. She knew what she was getting into. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Yep. Just seeing that this might be a good moment for a picture here. All right. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. Seems so. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face. Yeah, no shit. I'm pretty fucked. <laughs> okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. Might know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Hmm. Let's say I believe you. Okay. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Clouds. Where's that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Okay. Megat's hour. Luxurious. That's it? Have any brain dances for me, maybe? You... Wait. What? Um... Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Sure. I'll give you a call. Give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. I think she's just worried. That's why she might be a little cranky about the whole subject, right? Looks like she's just concerned for Evelyn's safety. Which I can understand. So, we can give her a call. That shouldn't be too much of... Oh, boy. Hey, a doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. That's a fair point. So we're going to hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Anything else to say? Seems not. Oh, he's gone. He's doing the old Batman disappearing act. Whoa. Oh, is that Susie Q? Club's closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Oh, I want to talk to you. What happened to Evelyn Parker? You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. I think Susie Q is the one who's running the place now. Didn't we read that in one of the shards? Where do you give the working girls a helping hand? That's ancient history. And like all history, it was pretty damn bloody. What was it? Something about a riot. Joy girl murdered by a tiger claw? Not the first. Just the one that tipped the scales. Folk went ballistic. Streets overflowed with raised fists. Girls, pimps, outcasts, the whole freak show. It's how the mocks got started. But that's old news. I see. We're running a business now, not a charity. Can't help everyone in this city. Gotta take care of our own. Moxes come first. Okay, so how's the business doing? And the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? Nah, I'm just admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day I wake up and wonder how it's still standing. We get by. That's all I'll say. Okay, you and Judy, what did you argue about? Heated exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. Yeah. One thing I know about curiosity, 
won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. Oh, fair enough. Well, let's talk to you another time. Hold up. Hold up. How's this any of your business? Oh, oh, just wanted to pick something up. <laughs> Stand up again. Oh, boy. Oh, did we just steal like 700 bucks? Uh, safe and sound. That's city gangs. We read about the gangs. If I ever pack, uh, pick up a chart that you guys uh, want me to read again, or because of maybe I thought that I read it or accidentally missed it, Forget then. Evelyn. Oh, what's Admit going on here? It. This is about Judy's virtues. Isn't it? What a sweet good shit, sweet if I say so there. myself. I seem better. Gotten virtues out of street dealers that were light years crisper. Congrats. No one cares. Apart from Judy. Oh, she'd love your feedback. Where the sarcasm, huh? What are you doing this to me? Kiss my dead bunk! Oh, jeez. Hey. How are you? Now this lady is gone. Maybe we meet her again? Again, like, I, you, you guys saw that I tried to... You saw that I tried to scan her, but... It didn't really work. Oh, let's leave the bar. Go to Mega Building H8. So where is that exactly? Where are we? We are here. That is Mega Building H8. Okay. We will definitely do that at some point. Somehow. Looking. Another side job. Sabotage the target here. Mm-hmm. Thievery. There's a whole thing. And then we have a main quest one here, right? Uh, that's, that's at the afterlife. There's also another side job down there. But we have a side job over here, so... That might be interesting to check out. This one. I have a couple of things here. And then this one, this reported crime. So we may uh, do these very quick since it's uh, right around the corner. Then maybe we make our way slowly but surely towards the afterlife. Wait, this is sending us all the way around? Well, then we will do this one first. I think that makes more sense. Bart must collect it. Corporation oppression will only end once to stop that. What? Who's calling? Mr. Hands. They call me Mr. Hands. If you're looking for Pacifica jobs, call me. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? <laughs> I'm truly honored to you got any biz? Call me. Okay. That was weird. Hey! Hey! You see mm, that? We will call him, especially when we are in Pacifica. They're seeing me. I want to get spotted here. No business with them. So, why is it? Can I just cross here? Sometimes the navigation thing is a little bit confusing to me. Maybe it was right. Maybe I have to go around here. Fair enough.
Okay, we're getting closer. Some form of reported crime here. What's our ammo situation going? Not particularly well, but okay. So maybe we have to rely on stealth a little bit more. Which has been going great so far. But I'm still learning. Takamura, what's going on here? What's up with you? Can you talk? It is important. What's important? I may have found a solution to the problem we share. I have established a contact with an old friend from Arasaka. He's here in Night City now. He's well connected to certain influential people. Okay, why the mystery? Old friend, well connected to the influential. Why so mysterious? Get to the point. I told you once I would explore options knock on many doors there will be a meeting you me and this friend of mine you will tell him what you told me the truth of events at Kompiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced but it will be a start okay so is this guy trustworthy of all people you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability even that of old friends you sure about this guy trust him Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Okay, so where do we meet? Fine, where's the meet and when? Japan Town, after sunset. I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. Is that maybe the one that we got close to? Could be tracked? Oh. Maybe not. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, oh no, it's there. Okay, it's fairly close. Let's first focus on... Ooh. Reach protocol. Let's do that. Um, we need a 51-1C. So I think we can just do this, 51, one see. Hmm, I want to see if I can get a better look if that, yeah, there's another one up there. What is this? Air conditioner, distract enemies. Can I distract this guy so he goes over there? I can take down the girl. Oh, this is going to go bad, right? <laughs> that was close. Oh, I did want to kill her, but I accidentally did. I always press the wrong button. I swear, but. I'm accidentally brutal. Oh, that would have been a way to store her away. There's another one. What if I, can I distract enemy? Someone go coming over here? Oh, this guy might. drink umbrella so how do I get her maybe I can get her over there oh there's another one that's not good okay the stealth works fine up until now
Okay. It wasn't too bad. I mean, it was a little bit unlucky that this guy kind of caught us there at the corner. Those things happen, but other than that, I'm not too unhappy with this encounter. We got two installed. So let's look around a little bit. Let's loot. Definitely need ammo. Oh, we picked up some ammo. That's good. here messages reward and he found a spot where we'll have leave the scratch for you sending you the cords and attaching the code to the stash uh, attachment just divvy it up fair and square don't need any fucking fighting over scraps eddie Pulans pulaski to michiko ogata anything you like my sweet japanese queen by the way had an idea we could carry your merch and around Kabuki and our patrol cars. Nobody's gonna look for stuff there, right? Come on, huh? Cause you have to pay more for that. Don't get greedy, Eddie. We'll be fine. All you gotta do is keep shit quiet. There were no fucking queens in Japan. Need your help. You're a good Samaritan. I'm desperate for help. My name is Lovisa Kokonen. I recently lost my job as a custodian at Euro Business Machines. Because I was in, uh, in a horrible accident last May. Oh, my implants are no longer compatible with my nervous system. I lost function in both legs, right eye and my left hand. Surgery is too expensive for me. My daughter is very ill and my new baby is blind and deaf. It is my dream to show her the world, but I know I cannot afford treatment for both of us. I'm being asked for you for a small donation to buy new Kiroshi eyes so that my little angel can see her mother and sister for the first time. I will not forget you. Okay, that's interesting. Got some good money. Sniper rifle ammo. We picked up a sniper rifle some time ago, but we are not meeting the level requirements. Okay. Oh, there, there's a thing. We can breach. Give us some money. After paying back... Uh, big. We definitely need the money, so. Do that. Okay, E9, 1C, 1C, B, D. E9, 1C, 1C, B, D. So that book. E9, 1C, 1C, B, D. Okay. Nice little hack. Health. And now we should be able to go to the little side shop here. Let's do that. Oh, there's something else popped up there. Oh, right, what? Seems to be right around the corner here. Up there. See how I get up there. Hmm. Maybe it's connected to the one that we just did. And I, I really like that you can traverse the city in these. Little unconventional ways to just jump up things. Oh, what do we have here? Health booster, purple dragon shirt, euro dollars. Oh, what are we gonna protect and serve? Hey, that was a lot of money. Anything else up here? Can I get into this shack? Looks like there's nothing there. Okay, we did that. Then now we go to the side quest. 
I get down safely. Didn't break my legs for once, so that's good. Ah, time to take a health booth, I think. Be full health. You never know what happens here. What's going on there? I'm going to do a crime here. Not with me. Oh, a police officer. And, ooh, cam resist enhancement suit. That might be useful in some uh, situations. I'm not sure if there will be situations where we might uh, use certain special clothing as cover. To go undercover. Oh, there was some kind of chemical attack on them still. That's interesting. Okay. I don't know where we put on like a NCBD uh, clothing, and then can enter a building or something like that. Flawless work, V. Quangbo thinks your nickname should be the Furious Lion, oh. so I guess he's happy. Closing the gig, sending you the cred. Oh, that was about Wangbo. Yeah, you know, there was a like weird thing where we finished that quest, but then there was, then she gave us the quest. Watch yourself. I guess that's an update for Wangbo. It was the guy that we saved from the hotel. The oh. Cyber Psycho. What's going on here with you? What's the orders? Level critical. The target presents symptoms of cyber psychosis. Results of a telephone consultation with physicians. Negative treatment impossible. A treatment impossible. Target is located at the attached coordinates and waiting for paramedics to arrive. Surprise attack possible. Warning. Target is armed with military grade combat implants. Highest caution is advised. Huh. That sounds like a job. Oh. Whoa. 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 Psycho tank top, knuckles thermal damage, gorilla arms deal thermal damage and have ooh. send a berserk and increase berserk duration. That's our first cyber psycho. Lieutenant Moa, code red, code red. Dr. Martin Sipura, copy. Reading the biomon, describe your symptoms. Convulsion cramps, can't shut off my implants, aggression. Understood. Biomon data suggests an inevitable loss of control soon. Oh my god, please no. Don't call Max Tag. I just need some downers, is all. Of course, don't worry. Militech takes care of its own. Head to this address. It's an out of the way place. You won't be able to hurt anyone there. Our paramedics come get you and take you to a clinic. You'll be able to. You'll be back to normal in a couple of days. Thank you. Thank you so much. No problem. That doesn't work. Didn't work out. Bunch of euro dollars. That was quite intense. Now we're out of ammo again, though. Okay. Some weapons. I would just like to have some ammo, honestly. Wonder if I can craft ammo. I haven't checked that. Lots of rival ammo, but no pistol ammo. Bracelets, zero doors, lots of money here though. There we have some ammo. Nice. 
I'll take all of that. Look at that. We quickly made like 10,000 bucks. Picking all the things up. We'll leave. Uh, how do I send the information to Regina? Just call her? Maybe? Um, maybe. Takamura sent us some... Let's see, uh, Regina, can we... We're supposed to send her a message here? Lab of Psycho. There, send reply. Uh, sending your ride, I bet she has checked some more data about her, but not much. You know it is how it is with Militech. Get too nosy and they start sending you death threats. Looks like Moa was chipped with experimental combat implants. Maybe there was some glitch in the code that made her snap. I look into it. Thanks again. Money already on its way. That was a little bit weird. We didn't really get her um, briefing in the first place and instead got the one for the old quest. But we took care of it. So that's most important, I'd say. Neutralize target. Can do that. I think we can maybe move our way down here and then maybe move our way over here. Like that. There's a tarot card. I have to go down here. Yeah, but let's try neutralizing that target. Didn't expect a Cyber Psycho. It's the first one that we've uh, encountered. It's quite intense, but I think we were pretty well equipped. And she got a little stuck in the hallway. She was clearly like a melee, melee person. She was just trying to charge, and she couldn't really charge in those close hallways. So, good on me for exploiting my environments to beat her. I'm not saying that I'm very smart, but. I'm just saying that I'm very smart. Go to the Ho O Club. Gig Monster Hunt. Got word of a cyber psycho attack, all confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing is, nobody's gonna show because Militech shut it right down. Okay. You ask me, Psycho's gotta be one of theirs. My eddies are on Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Oh, okay. Well, that'll be interesting. Okay. Cyber Psych Attack was reported by me. Is, is it now bugged? Because this seems to be like the briefing for the other one. Let me just double check. First, what did we get from Takamura? He, uh, he quenches his throat at the watering hole or waiting for your arrival. He takes shelter and uh, the fox is cautious. Uh, Takamura? Everything okay? How about your Merc? Yes, this is Takamura. I'm using a burner. I'm using a burner via secure connection, but I figured it would be best to use the secret code I created. I suspect it might be beyond your abilities. <laughs> Maybe at the talks on Channel Channel Street, Japan Town. Come at night. If any, if nobody follows you, I will show myself. Okay, got it. Hey, Evelyn Parker. Hey, you there? Unavailable. Okay. 
Uh, West Regina Jones. That is the MOA business. Uh oh. That was not good. <laughs> okay. This is token, okay. Stealth as always on point. Access token. was that? Did you guys hear that? Maybe I'll just wait. I'm oh. oh, that's the reload of okay. Find Jotaro. Didn't we hear about Jotaro before? Somewhere? Wasn't he the one connected to the Pachinko business? As well? If I'm not mistaken? That would be really cool if these sidekicks are connected. I think I'll just kind of get out of here a little bit. Set the combat mode. And hopefully at some point. Well again. We have to leave a little further. I mean, I love the music, but I kind of would like to try being a little more stealthy about it. Maybe it's not possible. This is here the uh, non-lethal weapon that we're carrying, right? Tech pistol. Also. Renders your weapon non-lethal, yeah. There's something better here as my third weapon. Go with the assault rifle. Or oh, the shotgun. Let's go with the shotgun. I actually enjoyed the shotgun. Just in case. We mess up. <laughs> what? What's going on here? Whoa.
all for jacking into that one thing. Um, 55, one C, BD, 50, yeah. Hey, you okay, bud? Body Horror 12, the first and last time that yeah, those are the available. Hey. Actually, shoot an innocent. I feel like I kind of, kind of want to reset this. Let's make some, put some distance between us and the quest. can return there pretty quickly, so... When does it reset the combat status? That's the question I have right now. It's like we are pretty far away. Just does reset. I can't use these either while in combat, obviously. What if I. What happens if I, like, reload the autosave? When was that? Let's, let's just do that. Because something weird was going on there, I feel. We got the wrong quest again, or the update on the wrong quest. Let's just quickly do that. No harm, no foul in that. But now, I know that I can't just check these uh, things when people are looking. So that's good. Always learn something new. Where exactly am I now? Okay, so pretty much right before we got around that corner. Perfect. Uh, that means, though, uh, let's have our quick conversation with Tanamura. Takamura. I always call him Tanamura for some reason. Got it. Then Avalon Parker. There. Oops. So one left. Barely legal. Uh, 
ho o clock. Monster hunt. Got word of a cyber psycho attack. All confirmed. Even reported to Max Tech. Thing See, is, th but this is not the right one. Militech shut it right down. You ask me, Psycho's got to be one of theirs. My Eddie's our own Lieutenant Mower. Anyway, Corporal's gonna go straight into treatment. So make very, very sure you keep her in one piece. Yeah, but. Okay, so all I know is that the Cyber Psycho Tag was part of the Max Tag. But that is not the mission that we're on, right? Uh, I don't know why the missions are scrambled like this. And how we can fix it. Do we have anything on Monster Hunt? No. Them over? No. Find Jotaro. Okay. It seems a little more friendly now. What can I get you? I want to talk to you. I have a word with Jotaro. You have a death wish? Some people say so. Leave a while, you still can. Trust me. I heard you've got great brain dancers. Heard you got a special offer for your more demanding clientele. There's some, something Remind gross anything? going on, right? A connoisseur. For you, we got a hot BDs. Extra real feel. Any gender, race, fetish you can dream of. We'll fire up those synapses. Get that serotonin pumping. Okay. Oh yeah, those are the brain dancers that we can choose from. What what happens if we call Regina here? See you around. I don't know why these uh Quests are scrambled like this. Uh, hello? Excuse me? We don't? No. Okay. What can I get you? You should be there. Hey, here. Uh oh, that was spooky. Well. This guy laughed. I see. We have a guard there and a guard there. You blind? I wonder if there's another way in. What then. can I get you? Oh, this one, this guy is gone now. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Hmm. Hmm, where's the other one? Okay, what if I... I think one of this guy is coming. Okay. I think we're not safe here. Personal access token. Do you have garbage can here somewhere?
Okay. Ah, uh, here we have one. Bring it in here. Uh, dump the other one there too. Or is it now occupied? Nope. Get in there. Okay, perfect. Now, we obviously still have to find a way outside, inside. So we have now the access token. So can I, can I look at what they do? Maybe now I can use that one. Hey! What can I get you? I have an access token. Oh. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What can I get you? Guess I got a little bit too close there. Fortunately, this quest seems very buggy. Open it. There is one behind the door, though. Can I maybe? It's breach control. That might help. BD. 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 One two. Can we distract one? Can I kind of lure him out of there? Doesn't seem that way. Uh, it seems like there's a control panel of sorts. Maybe we do have to be a little more direct with our approach. Put it that way. What can I get you? Can I do this guy maybe over here? coming over here now? He sure isn't. Oh, the guy up there. Let's see where he goes. If he goes back to the other room here, I might have a chance of taking him out. I just don't know if anyone... I'll just... Let's just see what happens. Who's he? Like a tear. Oh, is that the guy who got lured over here? Well, that works too. We have that lady over there. What if I distract him over here? Maybe I can blind her?
Got him. Gotta be careful to sell the body now, though. The Green Death. The weathered man peered into the eyes of the young nomad as if trying to divine his thoughts. Don't misunderstand, he said. I don't mind unexpected guests, but you must recognize when a man lives alone in the middle of the desert, he has a right to ask uncomfortable questions. The boy wouldn't make eye contact, instead glancing nervously through the window as if expecting to spot an armada of battle drones coursing straight for him across the sky. I am running away, he muttered after a moment of hesitation. From Green Phantom, he's been following me since Yellow Creek. The old man didn't move a muscle, save for a twitch at the corner of his mouth, re revealing he knew more than he cared to admit. You have nothing to fear, he said softly. The green phantom only comes for the worst criminals. If you hold regret in your heart, he'll forgive you. He'll offer a second chance. The boy's anxious demeanor suddenly turned into a rebellious grin. I regret nothing. And you, old man, you don't have the faintest clue what you're prattling on about. You're wrong. I've always met the fan... I've also met the phantom once before. The tenderfoot nomad's eyes widened in surprise for a brief moment. It seemed as if there was a question at the tip of his lips, but he refused to ask it. It's late, the old-timer said. You should sleep. You're exhausted and need to gather your strength before you continue running. If that's what you choose to do, my home is open to you tonight. The boy uttered no thanks. Without a word, he stood and entered the small, dark bedroom. But he, his host had prepared a bed. To find his way, he switched on his infrared, then immediately froze in place. There was a body lying on the bed. He edged closer until he could discern its shape, a pool of cooling blood, withered hands contorted into unnatural angles. The vacant dead eyes of the old man he had only just been talking to in the other room. Suddenly the walls began to emanate an otherworldly olive glow. The boy could sense a figure entering the bedroom and standing behind him. If you regret nothing, hissed the cold, emotionless vo voice, then why do you flee? Then Black, the world of the young nomad, plunged into darkness. Be careful here. Uh, okay, lots of money. Money is always good. Uh, okay, we need E9 55. Okay. Right. Just gotta make sure that they don't just appear behind me all of a sudden. And we put her in the fridge. Let's take our silent swan. You come out alone. Oh. I didn't see them at... Okay.
on Alf here. Guess Jataro might be somewhere. This submachine gun, it's pretty precise. Doesn't have much recoil. I like it. We maybe should explore this later. After we got Jotaro. If we go, I have to go upstairs. We might as well look around here. This time, the, the stealth did, definitely worked a little bit better. I was just surprised by the guy coming down the stairs all of a sudden. So, I'll take that. Not too bad. For me, that was okay stealth. these rooms. Definitely got some extra money though. E9 55 PD. Okay, I think we go here, here, 55 PD. I think now we try to take care of the enemies that are around. Anything new here? Foodie guide, we already have that one. Let's go. There we go. Give me, give me that. We'll assume we get closer to Jotaro, so let me switch back to my non-lethal weapon. Oh wow, what's going on here? Whoa. Whoa. What is going on here? Jesus Christ. It's a butcher. Car's waiting. I guess to bring him down there. As we neutralize him and then kill him. Holy fuck. Read. Jotaro, come over. I have a few bodies to get rid of. Eleazar Flores and cold storage? Yes. Okay, I'll come tomorrow. They'll be cremating a few at La Catrina, but toss in yours. Just come and take them. I don't care about the rest. Jesus. This is... oh. oh, we have a. Let's loot quickly before it turns on again. I don't have the other. I thought I have other authorization cards. So, like, what exactly are they doing with the bodies here, though? 
No, I want to pick him up. Oh boy. This is... Look at this, though. I don't know exactly what they're doing. I don't know if I want to know. This is fucked up. Oh, drop him. Oh, more. Way more. I'll fuck you up, motherfucker. That's one. Uh. What? I just want to open there. Another car. I don't care about your car right now. Do not follow me. Oh, just stay calm. Everything up. Oh! Can't loot the thing. Let's come. This quest is a little bit buggy. Some of his arms. Got your taro though. There it is. Hopefully that now we get the proper quest update. Job complete. Monster hunt. The ho o. -oh. Get a call from Regina. Is that buck too? I was waiting. Uh, I hope not all of the quests are back now. Or like the, at least the, which order they pick up. And it's nearby access points, data mining. Anything cool here? Dagger dealer. Great chance while sneaking. That's pretty good. Silence weapon. Yeah. Oh, a little bit of a bummer that it's a little bit bugged out all. Yes, I, I feel like I missed something there. Not getting any updates. Vision without action is a dream. Action without vision is a nightmare. We should remember this. What's going on here? Just confused now. Because Regina is not calling me anymore. She's just walking through doors. Regina. Jetero Shobo. Ring a bell? Guy's a fucking psychopath. Records himself torturing joy toys and sells that shit to like minded scumbags. The Mox finally tracked him down. This is your chance to give this fucker what he deserves and earn a little scratch while you're at it. More on this sicko attached. Well, yeah, that was the update for what we just did. Damn it. 
Got now. a Soviet fixer in town. My client wants to show some hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS this on the comrade's be... ride. Correct. I came with him all the way from the USSR. Okay, Northern so maybe we're back in order. Uh, let's see. There's so many. <laughs> okay, we can't get in here. Gotta find a way in there. Find the container with the vehicle. Ad campaign? But it's a pirate broadcast. Guy packs a signal. Hmm. The main on detective, that will be tough. <laughs> Especially for me. Okay, what can we do with this? Camera control. Let's do a breach protocol first. Um he activates all cameras, that would be good. BD and 55. Um, we can go... 55, BD, 55 to get both. Okay. How do, how do I lure these guys from me? I feel like they will see me right. Oh boy. Ooh. That was way too close. Ooh, something saw me up there. Oh, there's another guy coming there. It's a robot! I didn't know that. God damn it. Didn't know that it's a robot. I saw this guy. I saw this guy. Oh. oh, it's still the good old way. That's a top, they're hitting hard. Kept them and Robocop is back. Where is he? I'm not hitting him. That's a sniper, that's why he's hitting so hard. Yeah, 
There we go. A bit of a messy job here. Didn't really go as planned, I would say. But sometimes, sometimes things don't go as planned. I'm not sure if you know this. Oh. Okay, too many things. Okay, okay. There's a lot of things happening here. Oof. Okay. Everyone calm down here, okay? That calm down. Select this one and then we'll dismantle a couple of these. It should help. We can put on the site though. Range, range. There's something epic. There's like a yellow cross here. I have to check that. Oh, now I'm overburned again. Okay. Okay. Let's let's just dismantle a few weapons before we continue here. That would be so complicated. There we go. Okay. I will do more of that in between recordings. Do need to scan, find the container with the vehicle. Is it this? Oh. Alright. What now? Not the GPS tracker. Alright. We have here. Watson Hoare Diary. What the fuck? Oh, I think we, we, uh, we read that one. Vampire Prince is back. I don't think we have read that one. Monster Hunters Beware. Turbo Dracula is a dark, gritty, visceral action game experience where you play as the plasma-thirsty prince of puncture wounds himself. Dracula! He has risen again, this time as a digi-clone in a body of chrome, but his appetite for blood hasn't waned one bit. Assisted by the descendants of an ancient bloodline, he wages war against the sinister... Housing Corp, heading by the Demon Brothers Manchester. They aim to take over the world with the help of genetically spliced werewolf zombies. Dracula must face difficult choices such as whether to resurrect his old friend Viago or the or to transmutate into his nemesis. A polished real-time combat system and non-linear storyline offer the player deep immersion in single player, while the multiplayer mode allows you to team up with your chumbas as they take control of the brooding Varney or blonde fan favorite Herbert. Without spoiling any of the endings, yes, multiple endings, I'll leave you with just one thing. Lady Camilla Ruthven Batori is hands down the most captivating character ever written in the hundred year history of video games, period. Wow, that's high praise. Files? C. Weibull. Okay, local network. Let turn off. Important shipment. Today, today's update. We got a Soviet freighter in part transporting the usual shit, but there's also a container holding the car of some big shot 
party members. Be careful with it. No dings, no scratches, no jar eyes, nothing because nothing because and I'm not fucking joking, they'll take me apart piece by piece so no ripper could ever put me back together again. The car's going to sit in port for a few days until his royal comradeship comes to pick it up after all permits and customs and shit clears. And till then treat it like gra like a grandparent with care and respect, but most importantly without paying it a visit. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, okay. Spam mail we don't need. Are you sneaky with that. Nope. Nope, I don't wanna How do I plant it? Mount vehicle? Oh there. Okay. Leave the dogs. I mean this was super sneaky, right? Lando? It was kind of sneaky. It was sneaky for a moment. Let's get out of here. Oh, can I now actually leave here? That would be nice. Nope, I sure can't. So how do I get out of here? There we go. Nailed it. Oof. Hey, Regina. Jotaro receive. The Mox will gladly take him off my Oh, meds, come on. Give him a taste of his own meds. Thanks. Gig shut. Ah. Now we hear about Jotaro again. I hope that it'll be fixed quickly. Because that is kind of annoying. Um, I don't know. Let's go further into cool. Throw, throw knives deal 30% more damage. Movement speed after a successful takedown is increased. Increased damage from handshot fire from outside combat by 30%. That could be nice, especially in combination with our silenced weapon. So I'll take that. And then something I want to check is the fashion. What do we have here? Good. Go with that. It's an option. A helmet, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm fed of any of these. Why do we have the hat bend again? I don't like that. Come on. Okay. New first racing suit. Uh, gas mask, let's see. That look, uh, looks interesting. Oh, look at us with the sunglasses. This has a crit chance mod in it, though. Can I, uh, get that out? I can't get the crit chance plus 15. That's pretty good, though. Maybe we go with that. That is a, actually a very powerful change. Psycho tank top. Maybe we have a modding slot in there. I guess we can't see it anyway, but. Okay. We have the one with the extra, and we have the special suits. I think that's it's fine for now. We'll take a break here, and hopefully, um, I will Google a little bit. Hopefully, we can fix uh, the whole quest uh, order issue um, because that is a little bit annoying. Um, either way, thank you all for watching today's episode of Cyberpunk 2077. 
hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please give the video a like maybe consider subscribing to the channel share the video with friends family and the people on the internet if you want to go above and beyond in your support you can check out the patreon link down below and i will be back with more cyberpunk 2077 very soon until then have a great time